Out in the country, everything is peaceful. Or so you might think. But appearances can be deceptive. When the corn is ripe, a monster goes on the rampage. Fast, dangerous and hungry. Like a shark, it has razor-sharp rows of teeth that fold out and a wingspan of 10 meters. The blades pull everything in their path into the crushing jaws. Creepy. And then there's this fold-out funnel like the sting of a scorpion. But don't worry, our monster is a vegetarian. During the day, the Big X corn chopper shaves an area the size of 60 football fields. In a fraction of a second, it reduces man-sized corn stalks to tiny millimetre-sized pieces. The Big X is high-tech through and through. Six drums suck in the corn stalks and crush them. From there, it's on to the chopping drum. There, 40 sharp blades chop up the stalks. The momentum flings the particles upwards and the corn shoots out of the funnel at 250 kilometers per hour. In just one day, the Big X chops up 3,000 tons of corn. That's 150 trailers full. Corn is harvested in September and October. After that, the fields are vast open spaces. Our next vehicle has an entire festive lighting system of its own and a kind of scaffolding on the side too. With its huge head and slim wheels, it looks like a giant grasshopper. What could it be good for? The grasshopper is nimble on the road, but only in the field can it unfold its true potential. Here too, a few items fold out at the push of a button. The end result has an enormous wingspan of a full 40 meters. Then it's ready to go. Out of these nozzles comes Crop Protection Agent. Thanks to its high wheels, the machine called Panthera can even drive over man-sized plants without knocking them over. Particularly clever is the special scanner the giant grasshopper can be equipped with. It measures the green color of the plant and can tell how much pesticide is needed. Pure high-tech. Only the wide wings can sometimes cause problems. Well, with a working width of 40 meters, there's always the risk of hitting light poles or power lines. Or even our cameraman, if he misjudges the width. Now that was close. But it's this very width that makes it so special. Up to now, there are only 100 of them worldwide. Should our team be afraid of this strange vehicle as well? The thing looks dangerous enough, but here at least we get an advance warning. It's not entirely harmless. You can be hit, you can be pulled into it and limbs can be severed. Good Lord! So everyone beware. The machine has two spinning tops with claws on the end. So what are they for? They can be lowered and they look like two very large helicopter rotors. Of course, the thing can't fly. But then, what can it do? It leaves behind a thick row of grass, a so-called windrow. That's why our machine is called a windrower. With so many rakes, why is there a precise line left behind and what is it good for? When the rakes are on the outside, they fold down to catch the grass. Once inside, they fold up and the grass is left in a straight line in the middle. But why all the effort? Well, that's quite simple. Windrowing makes it easier to collect the grass and compress it into bales. A clever helper at harvest time. <laughs> 